I'm Mandy. Welcome to Soup Up Recipes. Today we're making crispy roasted Cornish hen. It's super easy. You just marinate the birds and roast them. You can do this in an oven or in an air fryer. I include both of the method in this video. These little chickens are so tender, juicy, and much quicker to cook, which is a different option to serve for Thanksgiving dinner. In case you don't want to deal with a huge turkey, speak about that. I do want to show you a Cantonese method to achieve that perfect golden roasted skin, which you can apply to turkey as well and make a beautiful presentation. Let's get started by making the marinade. We will use two pieces of fermented bean curd and one tablespoon of the bean curd juice from the jar. This is the classic ingredient in Cantonese cuisine. It is essential in roasted char siu, chicken, and duck. I'll link it in the description. You can check it out if you want. Continue by adding one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, half tablespoon of hoisin sauce, half teaspoon of five spice powder, and half teaspoon of white pepper. Smash the bean curd and mix thoroughly. The measurements that I gave are for one Cornish hen. If you plan to make more than one, please adjust the ingredients proportionally. Now we're gonna add the aromatics. Here are two shallots, which I sliced thinly, three cloves of garlic, half inch of ginger. I smashed and diced them. Two scallions. I cut them into stalks. Bring the Cornish hen over. Use paper towels to dry the skin and the cavity. Put it in the marinade and rub it for a few minutes. Make sure you crush the aromatics to release their flavors. This recipe is a simplified version of a Cantonese roasted pigeons. I was not able to buy pigeons around where I live, but luckily. Cornish hen is perfect because the size is similar. Actually, this is a perfect single serving size bird. Maybe two if you have a small appetite. That makes it easy to calculate the number of people you're gonna serve and decide how many hens you need to cook. Once done, cover it. We will let this sit in the fridge overnight. If you are in a rush. Two hours would do a fine job because this is such a small chicken. Of course, overnight is better. For those of you who are not familiar with Cantonese cuisine, we like to glaze our poultry before roasting, which is the key to creating that perfectly charred golden brown skin. In the saucepan, add half tablespoon of sugar, half tablespoon of honey, a quarter cup of white vinegar. And a quarter cup of water. Stir everything over medium heat until dissolved. Traditionally, we use mottos, but honey is probably already in your pantry, so we're sticking with honey today. The mixture doesn't need to come to a boil. As soon as everything is melted, turn off the heat and set it aside. Okay, let's get back to the bird. Remove the aromatics from the Cornish hen. There will be some extra marinade left in the bowl. Don't throw it. We will use that later. Bring the Cornish hen to the sink with a rack under it. I boiled some water using an electric kettle. Pour the hot water to blanch the chicken. The heat will stretch the skin and make it nice and smooth. Don't worry about washing off the flavor because it has been marinated long enough. And we reserved the leftover marinade, which is going to be a flavorful gravy. Pour the glaze onto the duck and rub it all over the skin. The sweetener in the glaze will caramelize while roasting, and that is how the skin gets beautiful. This glaze is reusable. If you cook more than one hen, you don't have to make another batch of glaze. Speak about that. I have another hen that I marinated yesterday because I want to demo both of the air fryer and the oven roasting, so you can learn multiple cooking methods. 
Tie the chicken legs with kitchen twine and wrap the wing tips with tin foil so it doesn't burn. Let's use the air fryer first. No need to preheat it. Place the Cornish hen in the basket. Set the temperature to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and let it cook for 35 minutes. It may look like a short time, but trust me, it is enough to cook the chicken through because the air fryer heat circulation is efficient. This is how it should be after 35 minutes. You can check the temperature. It is above 180 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's safe. It looks pretty good already, but I like to switch the temperature to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and let it roast for another 3 to 6 minutes. The purpose is to crisp up the skin and make it a little bit more charred. However, every air fryer is different, so please keep an eye on it and feel free to pull out the basket to check the doneness. It came out so good. The golden brown skin is perfect. And I want you to listen to this crispy sound. However, the downside of the air fryer is that you can only cook one chicken at a time because the basket is so small. If you cook more than one, you will have to use an oven. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The heat circulation is not as good as an air fryer, so the temperature has to be higher. For the same reason, I also like to quickly dry the chicken skin with a small fan while waiting for the oven to preheat. If you don't have one, you can just put the chicken under a ceiling fan for 10 to 20 minutes. It will do the same job. This is totally optional, but I find it does help to make the skin more crispy. For one Cornish hen, Bake it for 35 minutes. If you cook more than one, add 10 more minutes for every extra Cornish hen. During the roasting, you can work on the gravy. Here is the leftover marinade that we reserved. Put the aromatics in the saucepan, but leave the liquid behind. Saute the aromatics over medium low heat for 5 minutes or until everything is caramelized. Add the remaining sauce and stir well. Pour in a quarter cup of water and simmer it for a minute or two. Let the sauce go through a sieve. You can drizzle this onto the rice and the chicken. The Cornish hen has been roasting in the oven for 35 minutes now. Switch to boiler and boil it for 3 to 5 more minutes. Here you have it. The difference between oven and the air fryer is that the oven method cooks slightly uneven, which you can tell by the charred color on the skin. But it is still delicious anyway. Now we're ready to serve. Cut the Cornish hen open with a pair of kitchen sears. Look how tender that is. The leg just came off. I didn't even use any horse. Serve with some white rice and a little bit of green veggies. Drizzle the sauce over. And that is perfect. Oh, the chicken is so moist and flavorful. You can really taste the fermented bean curd flavor, which is unique and delicious. I hope you give this a try soon. As always, the printable recipe link is in the description. Go check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more easy and delicious Chinese food. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.